I would have respect for that. And with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Vane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science, Freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake, when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think... Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the wolves to cover my ass, right? Oh, ho, ho. a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! <laughs> Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? <laughs> they won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. I promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. 
the mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help! You, time out! And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here is one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess. But no, it's John. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. Amazing! <laughs> How does your cape do that? Did you get it? It didn't feel great, you know, stealing from her. It felt like there was a little Harley with a halo on this shoulder telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. I serve the greater good, John. I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promised to only use it for, you know, hero things. Fine. So awesome! Battering. Long-range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. Nailed it! Dead on! Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> my hands are sweating. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I... Uh, can, can I keep it? I'm going to throw it a hundred times a day until I get it. 
working with you, Batman. It's just been... Wow. What I meant to say is... Uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too. If that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. To new beginnings. It was a pleasure working with you, John. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. I'd love to... Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, have your people call my people. Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on the street. Literally. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. I'm glad you're here. Are you? <laughs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. You're right. He's been off lately. I'm glad you're aware. You're lucky to have each other. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two dressings already. <laughs> there. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. No. I had no idea. No, of course you didn't. The laptop. I know you snatched it from Harley. I want to find that black site. Before they do. A laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. You give me the decryptor and we will crack this code together. I promise. Okay. I'll give it to you. But on one condition. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. Say it and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No. You can't. Thanks. It's been a rough night. S 
So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. Coming. I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. The cave shields my tech from surveillance and gives me direct access to Gotham's waterways. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, but it's so isolating. Like the whole world is just closed off. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that, it means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. Do you really mean that? Don't let it go to your head. It, being here, with you. I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice. The way I feel around you, like... like I can be better. Do you maybe... feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. Hold that thought. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, and there I am. Right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. They remind me of you. Is that such a bad thing? Uh, did you... want them back? Hold on to them. They look kinda nice there. Tea for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data.
I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because, well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. She's important to me. I thought as much. Good for you, Bruce. This is a big step. Ah, <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Invoices, schematics, design notes. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the Black Side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. viral agent from the looks of things. We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus, with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the Black Site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham, at the Bodhi Spa. Okay, okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Hands behind your On back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Get down!
Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Gordon, this is all one big mistake. Uh, shut your mouth and stay down! Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. This is my fault. We will talk about this later. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. Oh my I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Oh, say Officers, that. please! I... He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Jim, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's- Sorry? Screw you. You just gave Gotham to her. Enough! You're ignoring direct federal orders. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous, but there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on, I've got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad... I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. 
Luke, it's the least I can do. <sighs> the way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it, then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky. But leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. <laughs> it's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. But sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa.
I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. That appears to just be a patron. must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. Oh, I have an appointment. Bad shoulder. The main entrance is around the corner. That's not why you're here. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So... Determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rise and shine. Hurry! Hold your horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black side. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. She's not going to hurt me, Bane. She trusts me. Mmm, trust is a fragile thing. One imperfection, and it's destroyed forever. 
What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him, betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. And taking you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see. Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us. Bruce, you're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. the deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. I can tell he meant a lot to you. He did. Till he blew his brains out. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> You're cute when you front. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you- Yeah. Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert. I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. 
Harley. Uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat... <laughs> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. It's okay, it's okay. You have to keep it up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Thanks. You're hitting him already. Huh. I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. Come on, Bruce, you gotta give me something. A little nod. Just nod a little. Just the tiniest bit so I know you're okay with this. Come on, you're killing me. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. But you know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry, I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this. Since, you know, I stole it. Can't help but feel a little bit responsible. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Wooden. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. Please? It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? And I hope you rot in hell. Oh, so much fire. Might want to save that heat for later. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.